Hello everyone, my name is Marcellus Neely. I'm here to tell you about our call for submissions. I live here in Tokyo, Japan. I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm very happy to be a part of this volume. I'm gonna be editing it with a very capable and excellent partner uh, from Jamaica. Her name is Bianca Bailey. She's a great writer and also a fantastic editor and a really nice person. I think you'll love her once you get to meet her. Uh, Tokyo Poetry Journal is, is accepting submissions for the Black Diaspora Edition, the Diaspora Edition, and uh, we're accepting poetry, short fiction, essays, commentary, and visual arts like photography. Uh, I am a professor at a university, uh, actually an associate professor, uh, in the English department, uh, but I'm also a photographer, as you can see here, uh, my photograph back here. Uh, we have this photograph of uh, a father and son. It was a street photo that I took. I just randomly saw them walking around in my neighborhood. And then we have a photo here of these guys. This guy here, his name is Amadou Tonkura, and I believe he's going to submit one of his works to this edition of Tokyo Poetry Journal. He's a painter and he painted this picture up here, which I don't think you can see very well, but there it is. Well, there's my microphone filter at the top. In the spirit of giving, I decided that I would share one of my poems with you. I just wrote it. Uh, before I do that though, I have to apologize for this Charlie Brown looking plant that I have in the background. It's like Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. I went away for a couple weeks, I forgot to water it, and bam, there it is. Anyway, here is my poem. It doesn't have a title yet. I may need to edit it. That's the process. You edit it, you leave it, you go back, you look at it, you fix the words, you make it smoother, and you do it again and again and again until you're happy. This is what it is right now. I lifted my head to breathe deep lungfuls of air as I woke from a dream I had where we could bounce rocks across lakes of lemon jello and sing songs made of starlight collected in mason jars from grandmother's kitchen. Do you remember, Hassan, running barefoot through Cleveland to Mrs. Johnson's front door looking for ices and Dixie cups so we could laugh at how blue our tongues had become? And what about mornings with Marvin and Jamal playing manhunt and hiding across neighborhood blocks so as not to get caught out or left behind? Everything was fine and free as we ran around backyard fences and prized hydrangeas till dusk hung low enough to trigger the alarm of sidewalk children calling in chorus, The street lights are on! The street lights are on! Ah, uh, yeah, that's my poem. That's a scene from my childhood. My brother Hassan, he's my younger brother, uh, we used to play this game called Manhunt in the neighborhood. Uh, we'd run around, we played it from morning until dusk, just before the street lights came on. In the black communities of Cleveland, Ohio, that was the sign every kid knew. When the street lights came on, you had to be on your way home and in the house in time for dinner. Anyway, you can send your submissions to us at the following email address. It's topojo underscore diaspora at light-walker.org. You can see uh, the email address is here. Uh, I look like one of those mechanical chimpanzees. Uh, you can see the email address is here. Uh, do submit your works to us. Uh, we are looking forward to hearing your beautiful voices, seeing your beautiful works. And until then, take care and do stay safe. Bye-bye. Oh my goodness, I forgot to mention that the deadline for submission is August 1st, and we hope to have that volume out by February of 2022, so next year. From August 1st to February, collect all the volumes, I'm sorry, collect all the works, read them, uh, put them together to see which ones fit, uh, do the proofreading, send it to the publisher, get it back, proofread it again, send it back, it all takes time. But hopefully between August 1st and February, we'll have that volume out uh, limited print run. Again, it'll be 200 copies or so. They're going to go in university libraries, poetry archives. Hopefully, uh, a digital version will be available on Amazon. We still have to suss that out. August 1st is the deadline. I look forward to seeing your beautiful writing or your wonderful images.